Young, you're a disappointing result. What was your take on it? Yeah, disappointing. I think is the is the big word here. Um, we knew, obviously, like I say, there's no getting away from knowing knowing the results from earlier. Um, with obviously the fans' reaction in the warm up, so we knew we knew what had happened. But we we could only concentrate on ourselves. And for 45 minutes, we did that. We dug in deep against the wind. It was never going to be never going to be easy, especially against a team that likes to press high and play on the front foot. We had to come through it and, and grind our way, grind it out for the first 45 minutes. And the little bits of quality that we've shown, it, we, we opened them up and, and got into good opportunities. And like you say, when you're, when you're kind of on the back foot a little bit, but you're, you're digging in and you're still creating opportunities yourself, you, it gives you a little bit of a lifeline. Um, and like you say, to get, to get the goal, obviously, albeit a, um, a, a scrappy one, you've got to take it. And just before half time, it, it gave us a massive boost going into the break, knowing that we can play a lot better, but we've kind of shown the nitty gritty side where we can dig it out. And like I say, second half is, is just obviously disappointing, especially to, to be 1 0 up and to concede two goals and come away with nothing is, is utterly disappointing. Yeah, I think we've said it before, there are no easy games in this division, but where do you think things could have improved today? Um, I just think we just probably had to have a little bit more care with the ball in our decision making, um, myself included, like there's no getting away from it. Um, and just having a bit more of sustained attack. I think we tried, yeah, you want to score every opportunity you get going forward, but you've also got to keep teams under pressure and put teams under pressure. And when you're kind of going forward without getting anything, you've got to try and come out and come out, come out and go the other side, but keep them pinned in. But and it was almost like we, we felt like we had to try and score with every attack. And, and when it breaks down, it's another, you kind of just feel like you're huffing and puffing without really getting anywhere. That said, we still had opportunities at 1-0, especially in the second half to, to score. And if we did that, it's a totally different game. But like you say, the longer it is at 1-0, they're on a good run themselves, a new manager, high pressing team, want to get in your face. They certainly did that. And when you kind of give teams opportunity and play into their hands a little bit, they're always going to kind of have have opportunities, have half chances. But we can only we can only look at ourselves and we've got to try and find ways and be better when teams come up and press against us a little bit more. Looking at the bigger picture, we've been on a long unbeaten run and Tuesday's a chance to start a new one. Yeah, it, that's that's the big thing. It's how you bounce back after a defeat. We haven't obviously we haven't lost a game for a while, and the 15 games or so I believe it is. So it's how you react. It's how you bounce back. And we've got a group in there that are really really disappointed with the result today. Um, regardless of what happened earlier, that taking that out of consideration, we, we've got we knew that we had to come here and, and win if we if we wanted to have a chance of closing the gap. We didn't. You look at it as if, if they won today and we won, the gap's still the same. We've both lost, the gap's still the same, but obviously you're one game, you're one game down. But we've got a chance to put that right on Tuesday. You always want to bounce back as quickly as you can with a defeat, and we've got certainly got that on Tuesday. Again, everybody knows that they don't play on Tuesday night, so it's a chance for us to close the gap to four points, and hopefully we can grab that with both hands and dust ourselves down over the weekend and go again. Yeah, just Is it nice then that, that you know there's not a long wait now? It is a quite a quick turnaround. We can get back out there. I bet you're all itching to, to go and put things right. Yeah, you are. You always want to put things right. You, Whenever you're on a good run, you want to keep playing, and whenever you lose a game, you want to put it right the next game. And when you kind of wait one week or two weeks, it can kind of drag out a little bit and it's trying to keep yourself fresh. But knowing that we've got that game in three or four days' time, albeit a long one, tough, a tough away game, which any away game in this league's not easy, it's a chance for us to put it right. And believe me, we'll be fully focused going into that game, trying to get the three points. And like you say, put a little bit more pressure on, on, the, teams, on the team at the top. And like you say, we, we've got to try and pick up as many points as we can between now and the end of the season. But there's no getting away that we've put ourselves in a great position um, going into the last five games. Where 20, 15, 20, 25 games ago, if someone said to, to everybody that we'd be sitting second in the league, everybody would have probably snapped your hand off. So we've got to look at that. We've got to look at the bigger picture. There's still plenty of points to play for, plenty of twists and turns, and we've just got to make sure that we're ready to go again on Tuesday. Jungi, thanks for speaking to us. No problem.